Right. So May 22nd, there's the, it's, it's got a footnote of one. One does not say that. The two other meetings say um, the two thirds is required. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I ask a question? Just curious about like the discussion. If somebody, for example, there was a reason, like they were sick, but they couldn't go in person, but they could like zoom in. Can you do that or not? No. Not, yeah. not, 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 not to vote. Okay. Not but otherwise, yeah, they, could they can zoom in, in and watch, but they cannot participate. like on as far as borrowing and interest rates and how long it will take and we're talking about this is April 13th of 2023 and we are doing our best to estimate what everything is going to be like in November of 2023 so you, you can see the, the, the challenges there as far as it's difficult to predict like financial markets that far in advance. And then even when you pass here, you're talking about not really borrowing and getting the money until February. So this is where we do our best right now. But it, it is, I'm just telling you, that is all stuff that's subject to change. Right. I mean, you'll he, contextualize that also at the meeting for yes. the public. And we've tried to that's do our right. best to contextualize at every meeting that we're working with estimates that we are projecting into the future. I hear you. I think we've been really trying to make that clear. Yeah. And when you say you're doing the best you can, that's the best we can do, right? Yeah. I have a question. At which point should we have um, the best estimates for all of them? So, so I can speak to that. We had the first round of estimates, right? We had several rounds, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, so at which, as, as Amy pointed out yesterday, one that was printed in Miguel Springs News was different than the one on our website. That's all. So, okay. Because there were some corrections. But okay. Okay. So we have one set of estimates that has changed and one set that hasn't. The A's have, cha have been the ones changing. The A the eight plans? The A plans, plans because they were based upon the Facilities Committee's renovation suggestions. There was just a meeting this week where, where that was gone through. J, you know, TJ was in it. I was not. Jay was in it. Um, Judith was in it, as well as Mike Murdoch and Mike Richley and several members of the Facilities Committee. They were able to, I think, come to some agreement. So we have what I would call much stronger numbers for the A plans. The B plans and the C plans are ones that Mike Richland was working on for us um, based upon, they have to remember this, based upon what the OFCC said we qualified in for in 2021. Literally last night at around 5 o'clock, I got our new OFCC plans, okay? 
because it, it's all dependent upon enrollment projection, your tenure, which I did get that. Mike also received that. However, Mike went on vacation yesterday. Yeah. Oh. So, certainly by April 5, we will be able to present plans with these costs. What's the caveat? The caveat is they're, they're based on 2022 costs. Yeah. So we started here, we're about right here, okay? Yeah. We're getting really close to being right here. Okay, so, but as some of us have expressed, right, when we're not on the core yeah. meeting, <laughs> as three of us here on the board are not, it's hard to wait, uh, check board docs, see when that, so I'm just, I want us to be clear about what are we gonna be able to accomplish on March 29th, which is next week. Yeah. So here's what we're hoping that yeah. the, whatever came out of that meeting this Did week could be shared. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying yes. To find um, he, he, here's what we're working on finalizing that. I can, I can submit all documents to everyone as soon as I get them. But I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say this publicly. Mm -hmm. As soon as I do, without any context or a face to face, they're everywhere. And then I can't do my job because I have to clean up a false narrative about the documents I just sent. And I'm not implying that this is what happens um, with you necessarily. I, I'm not implying that. But I do feel like I have to, I mean, I could throw documents at you. Right. So, I, so my intention was without Mike, because he will not be there on next Wednesday, I certainly know enough to know I can speak to the plans. Jay can speak to the plans. Um, I can speak to how our enrollment has has impacted the numbers, how they're different from what from what you've seen, and I'm happy to do all of that. What I can't do because I don't have a software program that I wish we could because now is the time to do it is to say we have all these plans. Let's go through the um, program of requirements and see because it was Amy's contention with Jay and I that the square footage was oversized. And that is just inaccurate. There's well, a reason that, it, please let me finish. There's a reason that it is oversized. And we tried to explain that to you. And, and these are things that we have to explain together. When the OFCC says, we will do something we don't normally do. We'll allow you to segment a project and do a 512. We have to oversize certain areas. The cafeteria, the kitchen, hallways, mechanicals. So in terms of process, what I would just like to, this is why it is so challenging when we have a meeting in which board members are not present. Because the only place that we have to discuss and deliberate as a board is at these public meetings. And we are often receiving the information days or hours before we go into that room. So when when people are unable, this is why the scheduling is so important. If we're not there to deliberate and discuss, which we are trying to do in real time, in front of the public and with the public, it is incredibly complex. And I respect what you're saying. I think that it's true that they need to be contextualized and that we need to have conversation about it. Um, but I, I'm just reflecting back up to the to the overall pressure. It's a pressurized mm -hmm. environment in which we are also trying to receive the information to be well informed and to even just understand how we're going to move this forward. Mm -hmm. Right, and you know, I, I would just emphasize that I'm pretty sure that um, oversized was Mike's word, and I was. Concern about those numbers, you know, in the version that was in the paper versus the version that was on the, put on the website, is that there's and there's. I was concerned about those numbers being out there without my there to explain because I had questions. So, if I might, um, um, I will tell you what the words were. And
convinced that the state requires the school district to hold an oversized middle school high school. Um, that was one. Um, this, was an, this was an email from, um, I noticed that the draft still features the exact same bloated square footage presented at the school board meeting. I'm sorry, but this is a mess. I'm disappointed in how this situation has been handled. That was yeah, that was the meeting. meeting. It was also you also said this does not match our educational mission, which I challenged you on. I don't believe you know our educational mission. What I the commitment I'm making to the board because Louisa, your point is well taken. Can we have a moment? Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm better I, finished I will and then present then the everything I just okay. received last night, literally before walking in here. I will I will forward all of that to the board. The board will be blind copied, so you cannot respond to each other. I will provide the updated document, as updated as it is, for the A plans. Um, I will provide you all notes that I have from the 14 meeting, and, and you will get that tomorrow. So that doesn't give you a full week, but it does give Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and some of Wednesday. Um, I will give you a copy of the program of studies as I have it. Um, I do know in my absence on... Um, and Mike went over... Correct, in this. March that Mike did go over the program of requirements, but I will make sure I, I give you that. Please note that the program of requirements will change um, because of the new plans, so I don't have that yet. I can contextualize perhaps kind of what you're looking at with the new OFCC numbers, but what, but, but you're not gonna see the other piece because that's a Mike piece where he combined the C plans, like with now I have the new segmented 512 numbers that we didn't have. So you have that piece, so you can kind of piece together the A pieces plus that for the C's, if I'm making sense, because it's, yeah. it, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot. And we're, and we're looking at we're looking an estimate. Okay, so um, you wanted to you wanted to have a conversation about the exchange there. So if you do, then actually I'm going to ask Daniela to facilitate this thing. Okay. And and um, we have a live issue again. And I think we need to deal with it. Each time we have these conflicts, we have to just see if we can have better understanding and see if that clears things up, which I think they did here. So let's see if we can do this here. So Amy, you wanted to respond. And yes, then, I, Daniela, sorry. Yeah, so Daniela's sorry. thinking. Amy, before, before you start, so Terry, just to kind of listen to what Amy's saying, and then you're going to repeat back what you heard her saying, not, not your perceptions or interpretations, just what she said as you heard it. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. right, and to begin this, is that I hear that you were offended by my language. The numbers that went out last week, they were out in two locations without an expert to talk about them. And we had the oversized numbers on the website for the C plans, as characterized by Mike. In the paper, we had, bloated is a loaded word, I agree with that. Okay, but we had the numbers that included additional square footage at Mills Lawn that was unnecessary. Okay, and that, I, that's pretty hard for her right? to remember all that. So right? stop there. And okay. So and the like, facts were that this, these numbers were out there without an expert to call. But I think I yeah, but I think. concerned because at a meeting there was no one to interpret two different sets of numbers, one that was in the YS News and one that was at the meeting. And you also believe that there was excess square footage numbers noted and that should have been corrected. Is that accurate? Yes. Yes. And I was, yes. And to qualify is that I was 
was expecting the numbers associated with a couple of the C pro problems to go down from something that Mike said. And I am, you know, and it's possible that I misinterpreted, it's very possible that I misinterpreted what Mike said, but I expected both one number to be removed and one number to, re to be reduced. Okay. So, so Amy, do you want to just stop for a second? I'm sorry, do you want to just reflect back what you heard Amy say, the addition? She expected one number to be eliminated and one number to be reduced. Is that, is that correct? That's correct. No? So my expectations were met partially, but I also felt that we had a problem, you know, we talked about misinformation. Okay. I think I think that's an important yeah. piece. Can you reflect that back? What you heard now? Am I still summarizing? Yeah, just, just, yeah. That I'm was an important hearing. piece that was missing. Yeah. Is that, is that enough that she reflected back to you? I appreciate what she reflected okay. back. So you felt like you were heard? I, I, you said one thing about, there was one thing that, uh, did you mean to say that I was offended? No, you knew that I was offended at your age. Yeah, yeah. And let me take the opportunity for apologizing for, in the heat of the moment, using the fiery one. You feel heard. What? You feel heard by Terry in terms of what you shared, that she understood what you were sharing. It's good to take this moment because I know this was a problem. Okay, great. So Terry, do you want to respond then with what Amy shared with you? What's what's your response? And Amy, now you're just going to listen so that you can reflect back to Terry exactly what, what you heard her say without your interpretation, your perceptions, just what did she say. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. I sense that you expected some numbers to change from the March 9th board meeting to the March 16th listening session. Um, I was not at the March 9th meeting. I was unaware that numbers were going to change, but I also know that I can't control the wireless news, and I know that they put out in good faith what they think is accurate, mm -hmm. and we put out what we had that was accurate at that time. What did you have to say? I hear that Terry uh, um, summarizing is kind of maybe one you want, of you want difficult to skills. Repeat? But the uh, um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, maybe do you want to say it again? Maybe take one chunk at a time. Maybe that's easier because it's hard when somebody's giving. Well, it. no. Is it what I heard is that um, that she recognizes that I had an expectation about the adjustment to the numbers, and she was not at the meeting that was present, um, that, uh, that there's this understanding of lag um, in some of the releases. I mean, certainly what was put in the paper versus what was released that day on the website, um, is that there's, there's going to be a noticeable lag. Um, and and uh, I'm not sure there's an acknowledgement of that should being problematic, but should we, should we that's, stop for a that's, second? That that goes that goes that gets the issue a little more forward on the on the board. Okay. So in terms of what you repeated back, in terms of what you said, do you feel like you were heard? Is there anything you would edit, adapt? No, no. So you don't feel like you're heard, and there's nothing. So how does this help you in that case? It does it. I, I guess it does it. I, I appreciate the exercise, but it, it doesn't. Okay. For me, this is a this is a deeper issue, and, and the issue has been a long time in coming. And that okay. when multiple people are doing my job, mm -hmm. this is what happens. Mm -hmm. This is what happens. I don't know what happens over here, and I don't know what happens over here, and I don't know what happens over there. Um, and it is not an expectation I have for us to resolve this today. <laughs> so, well, I think not a bad thing to put out there. Yeah. Can I? Well, I think actually, I just want to invite, even even if it's not something we can like really address today, but I really want to invite. What did you hear Terry say? Now, what what is? actually the issue for her. 
Okay, so can you, can you reflect back? Not not a response, not a response. What did you hear? Well, say? from the conversations that we were talking about, um, I interpreted that as meaning is that discussions about square footage is not something that the board should be discussing. Well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you have interpretations of what you heard, but I guess I'm just wondering what Sherry, Terry shared right now. What did you hear her say is actually like the core issue that is under this for her? It was a bit vague to understand. I did not say anything about the board should not have input about square foot. I didn't say anything about square footage. When I am not part of things, right. when I am not part of committees, when I do not lead initiatives, committees, whatever, that typically the superintendent leads, that is what starts this whole chain of multiple people leading the organization. In the end, I work at the pleasure of the board. I know that. But I also know that it's very clear what board responsibilities are and what my responsibilities are. And so that causes these gaps. So that causes something that you think is going to happen from one week to the next because other board members or, or others, not even board members, have been involved in, in making decisions. Well, I thought this was part, well. This was part of a public discussion where this expectation was set up. So the last meeting that I was in with this part of my was the last public board meeting. So can can we just pause for a second? Because I yeah. think it's important. Like maybe maybe Amy, if, if you're not able to do it, but maybe somebody else can kind of reflect back what Terry is sharing, what they heard as this underlying issue that Terry is bringing forward. I think so we can kind of clarify what it is that we're hearing. What is what is Terry putting on the table that we're all listening to that she's naming as it an important issue? It's my understanding through what Terry has said now at other times is that when Terry is not leading the process, then there are different interpretation and different data, set of data that is going out. And that creates the issue in which we are right now is that we have conflicting sets of data that have not all been checked by our administrators. Well, and we can hear from what you just laid out and discussed with the entire board, well, with the board members who are here, is that there's um, adjustments to the numbers associated with option A, and that there's still some motion with, and there may be still some motion with the other two options. Higher altitude, but even higher level. What I'm hearing, what Terry mm -hmm. just said, is that she does not feel supported to do her job. And when she's not able to either be present at a meeting or make decisions that typically a superintendent would make to clarify the expectations, both for the public and for the board members, that we end up in these situations of miscommunication. Right, and well, in this case, um, there was a miscommunication, there was even a little bit of um, frustration. Um, it, I think it's right, it, it spoken by all four of us with the circumstances that we found ourselves in. Please don't speak for me. I'm not oh, speaking no, I'm on saying any before. frustration. I also did not share the expectation that there would be a, an adjusted set of numbers for the listening session. That turnaround time, I recognized immediately, and Terry wasn't even at that meeting, did not was not an expectation that I held. So let's just all speak for ourselves. And well, I'm, I, I'm I, I just want to hear that piece of what Terry is saying that she doesn't feel supported in her leadership. So the it was I, you know so I made time that day that we had this email exchange. It was that day, or was it the next day? Um, I think it might have been the very next day. So we had this exchange, and there was there was frustration that we were all dealing with as we were dealing with this you know, rearrangement of the listening session so that we got together and we could talk about those, talk about those numbers. Now, there we made a lot of progress on that, but there's obviously still more progress that needs to be made with these option numbers. Specifically, I'm curious about, I mean, because we still have to get to that one section, that one meeting with the principals where we're going to be talking about 
But, but I guess here again is the gap with not actually really listening and finding a common understanding. Because I, again, had no expectation that numbers were going, that numbers and updated numbers, because clearly numbers were shared at the March 9th meeting, that's a public meeting, and numbers were shared. I had no expectation that the numbers piece was going to be in that next listening session because it became very clear from the legal advice that we would be potentially in a liability situation, well, that's both personally, financially, and the potential of facing criminal charges. So it was very clear to me that we were going to have to remove that piece of the conversation and or ourselves from that next listening session. But other people had other expectations. Well, yes, I mean, we, we were going into that week. Certainly on Monday, I had the expectation that Mike was going to speak to the public and to the board. Sorry, I don't think that's the document. I think there are not two issues. Here. I want to make sure that we're not losing the two issues here, that we can all hold them. One of them is that Terry is not feeling trusted in her leadership, and she's not allowed to work for her leadership, as far as I understand it, and I hear her say. That's one issue that I don't want to get lost in the discussion of a second. And then the second issue is that we are still, we have a duty to put verified numbers on to the public, and this is a process. We went through part of a process at the March 9th meeting when we identified areas that needed to be corrected, right. and there are still some of those answers and corrections that are being made. Right. So I want to put it out there that my expectation is that those numbers are going to keep changing as right. we're correcting mm -hmm. and refining those. But two issues is that the numbers will keep moving because we're correcting mm -hmm. uh, and we're refining the numbers. But the first one is that when we're not allowing our superintendent to be leading up front, then we have uh, different sets of numbers out there. Some of them are not verified. And right. So, so that's not to mention that we're impacting the morale of the district staff which is, I think, actually really important to acknowledge because it's also happening to me today with having one of our essential board members who's been part of our core facilities team meeting and held that meeting this week, but is not here at this meeting today in which we are all here to refine our agreements around how we're going to communicate with each other and how to come to a common understanding of our process. I feel that that is a, a critical, uh, it makes me sad and disappointed and upset. Well, there was a great deal of discomfort in this room over this. I think we all expected discomfort in this process. At least I did. Can we join you? Yeah, yeah um, first off, I'm going to a second page. Uh, share information as it comes out and um, blind CC everyone um, and try to keep everyone as up to date as possible without um, breaking any sunshine issues. Um, but um, that facility meeting that happened this week, um, the Zoom, the Zoom, really the Zoom facility. Yeah. It, it, it was, I guess. Um, oh, oh, this one with where, with, with Judith and TJ and Mose and Mike Richley okay. and, and me. Um, I was invited to that meeting after it was already planned. And that is a fundamental issue of how we function. Um, the, oh, I think it's down right now over here. Mm -hmm. Communication yeah. going forward. It's, it's in our code of ethics that, I mean, really, yes, the board members are, Terry and I are here for the board members to use, to accomplish or answer their questions and have things met. And when, um, it also, it's my point, if you're working in a vacuum, if you're working alone, 
on something and that you're going to bring to everybody, that you're doing something wrong. That's part of the communication issue because you're alone. Nobody knows. Nobody sees it coming. Nobody knows that you're even working on this stuff. And then you drop it on us. And we're like, everybody else is like, whoa, where did this come from? Well, you were working in the vacuum. You were working outside of our processes. Um, so the way that that meeting should have happened is should have gotten a request from a board member say, I still don't think some of these issues have been addressed. I need you to reach out to our vendors and set up a meeting. Um, and I would like to be included, and I would like these people to be included. Instead of, hey, Jay, there's a meeting going on, and we're discussing these numbers. Can you come? Well, I'm going to come now. But what if, what if I had a prior engagement or something? Um, that's it, it's a fundamental failure in how our are supposed to work. Okay, would, you like to, would you like to share that the code of ethics now? Is sure. this a good time for you to share that? Could I just also though, say what I'm hearing you say is that it's also fundamentally anti-democratic mm. when you're not inviting the people who need to be at the table to be at the table. You have undermined our leadership and you're being fundamentally anti-democratic to what it means to deliberate in the public, and I believe all of us are committed to democratic principles and practices. But what I'm hearing and what you share with that, Jay, is that actually that is a, an, an example of not practicing democratic principles and values. Um, I, I guess work can be done outside of, you know, this is why there's committees. This is why we do our, basically, this is why we do our organizational meeting at the beginning of the year, where somebody goes, you know, we have our village uh, correspondent, we have our legal update person, um, we, you're the transportation advisor, you're on, I, I cannot remember all the, I know you've got one, we, we have the, the insurance committee, even though that, that rarely happens, but we have we, we delegate these duties and we set up these processes um, for that. But yes, um, also included in that is typically that the people that are doing individual work as board members are also including the treasurer or superintendent or both of us. I mean, this is um, well. I, I even asked to be included on on some of the emails for for this planning where a lot of times um, there's emails that are sent to. TJ and Terry, and they're sent to TJ and Terry, and I'm like, Terry comes and tells me about them, but you, you realize you, you're just, you're adding work for her by excluding me from processes where I need to be informed. Now, this is where I also said blind CC and CC people properly, or just using emails where if it's directed at you, you know that you should probably respond. If you're just cc then you are just being informed. You don't necessarily need to respond. And then if you're blind seed seed, there's reasons for blind copying, but that's that's mostly for us, that's the assumption. I'd like to add one, one piece to that too, which is I was invited to that meeting last moment. I was appreciated to be there, and I was silent. And I have to say, it was a two-hour meeting. It took three hours. I didn't know what was going on. It went back and forth and in and out, and it needed some planning. It needed some preparation. That's what we're here for. We can help. So process design, agenda setting, clearly stating, the very simple stuff. But everyone's so rushed, and I get it. And everyone's doing a thousand things. That's what we do. That's what we do. So if you have a meeting, call, let us know beforehand. We'll help you. If you want it. If you don't want it. But a three-hour you know, meeting should have been two hours. And the three-hour meeting, yeah. three meeting was... Very confusing. In the absence of having a Jay Rothman, right? <laughs> I didn't know what to um, Both districts and the way you're supposed to operate is you go to your administrators, right? This is your team. This, these are the people that we hire. Right. And we pay them big money. They and they're they worth do. every dollar. They're 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 pay them. And more. Yeah. Yeah. But, but this is why we have them to do right. that to organize and to set those meetings. Sure. Yeah. And even better. I mean, you know, I have, <laughs> yeah. I have set some of the, the preconditions for this. Um, you know, so, so um, that is in part my fault on 
I will apologize to you, Jerry, and definitely you, Jay, look you up in more than, yeah, more than one email. Yeah. Like, yeah. I forget to do that. But, um, you know, and there's reasons for that with how, how the last election was and, and how we're on in trying to find a solution, particularly to facilities and how we're going forward. So, um, you know, maybe some self reflection is good there and I can figure out ways to have done that better. But, well, I mean, this retreat is good. This retreat is where we're talking out loud about processes that we've been through for a year. What I'm hearing is that we're addressing some of the, what I'll call, immaturities of a young group. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. well, we're well, learning. We're learning. That's enough. I mean, we're learning. I would not agree with that. We're learning. That's, that's fine. That there's, we're well, learning. there's just learning okay. about how to, you know, is that there's certain disciplines that right. you, right. that you, um, it's certain behaviors that you lock into over time. That's right. And there's, there's, what I'm hearing is that there's a bit of a lack of discipline in terms of okay. who we're including in conversations, right? right? Particularly Jay. Okay, and, and, and with that, I think that's, I think that's actually, is, you know, hear it as a constructive input, yeah. which is it's time to do better, which means learn from lessons yeah, yeah. of where we haven't done as well as we might. Yeah. Great, let's do it. And one of the, I think, you very useful, he said this to me in the morning, just review the code of ethics, which helps the board to understand how they're supposed to function. So why don't you read this for us? And if anyone has any questions, it's a good time to, to ask questions of, of Jay and Terry about what are the ways that, that Ohio law says you are supposed to conduct yourself. Sorry, well, you, this, you is, this is not, not Ohio law. These are our policies. Yours. So so the yellow line, some, some of them are so dictated by okay. Ohio law. Okay. But, um, well, the best practice from the high school board association. Yeah. Right? So this okay. isn't just our district. It's yeah. Most but we but we do have some control. Before you do, Terry. Yeah. And I would just say it's something I put on our um, sheet is that if you can remember when this board convened in January of 2022, mm -hmm. and you could not even the board could not even come to a place to sign board protocols. Those protocols have been signed in Yellow Springs for years. I think this is the first board that has not signed them. They are standard for every board. And, it, and when you look at the protocols in conjunction with this, it really provides us all of the information we need about how we communicate with, the, with others, how we work together. So um, I unfortunately, because I did not come from the office, did not come with a copy of this. But I could make them if you want. I, I emailed it to you. Well, they're, yeah. they're do you want? Do you want from them? Only if Okay, but I guess I guess I just want to be explicit about what you were saying here. The board didn't sign it, or one person didn't sign it. Mm -hmm. The board didn't. The board didn't sign it. Okay. I mean, there were a couple of drafts that were mm -hmm. floated around, and but I think the decision was is that policy, um, the policy covered a lot of those mm -hmm. issues. Okay. Now we can readdress that. I did not push it forward because I thought that it would be a contentious debate and would only harm us moving forward as a group at the time. So maybe we can say potentially that was a mistake and I should have set those out earlier, right. but it was a judgment call at the time. Right. And so, so again, things that we learned from the past, do we correct them or we just say, okay, let's keep going. So let's, let's come back to this. Let's yeah, we move on, but I, I wanted to make you know, one nuance and then one comment about this. The nuance when we talked about our administrators being involved is that they should be leading. Really, we should be the central point that funnel all the information so that we have consistent information going out. And I know that we've moved on from this five minutes ago, but I wanted to make this clear. Because we need consistent information and when independent uh, individual board members go around, we have inconsistent information and then we're getting into those issues. Yeah. And then uh, about the discussion on the policies, I know that I was, my expectation, and maybe it was wrong, my expectation is that we were going to have a work session on that. Um, mm -hmm. Because I thought that they deserved to be looked at individually. And we didn't because we got really busy with this mm -hmm. that needed to happen. Uh, but I, I do see that maybe in view of that, Well, all right, so then do we want to pause for a second and see if we want to add this up? Is it is it worth I your scarce time? 
Well, that is why we were here today and why we were supposed to come to some communication agreements today. In my opinion, that would have been really helpful. And I guess I feel that my time is not being respected if we're not all willing to show up and do this work together. So I'm, I'm not sure at this time if I'm willing to put another date in what is a very busy time for me professionally and in my life to add another date when I'm not even sure with confidence that our full board would come together and come to a full sure. conclusion on this particular issue of the board protocols. To me, it's too complicated yeah. in what we're already doing. Yeah. Yeah. I, my suggestion would be to punt it to August. Mm -hmm. or at, you, you'd see when we're done with facilities when things slow down, you can punt it further. Can I, can I just make a comment though, just as like an outsider kind of sitting in on this process, I can completely understand and respect that, but at the same time I think you do need to come to some agreement on communication going forward because otherwise I'm not quite sure how you're going to move successfully through this process. Right, because you don't, it's like you don't have the time, but this is stopping you at every turn. But so I made the time. So, okay. I made the time, and one of my board members did not. And so I'm just going to take a little break. I'll take a little deep breath. But I made the time, and one of my board members did not. And I feel disrespected by that. I'm sending the protocols to everyone so that they can have them at the public. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. so I think we all need to take a break. Yeah. It's all good. Let's take a break. Yeah. Let's, let's take a break. It should be. This, this was updated in September, though. This was this is five months old, right? Because this is revised in September 2022. Yeah. This is it was revised. It's part of our remember we went through all those. Yeah, classes. I know. This this was, so I guess technically the one that was in January 2022. This one didn't change. It didn't change. Okay. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. That we can say the four board members are committed to some of these, at least. So we can leave here saying, we have some ideas for how to improve communication that's concrete. So that's one thing that we'd like to do. I think we need half hour for that. Um, we want to finish the timeline. I, I was meditating when you started, so I don't know how far you got. How far did you get on your timeline uh, adjustments? Uh, I, yeah, I, didn't, I don't think we did any adjustments. You didn't do anything yet. All right, so we need to finish the timeline, 45 minutes on that. Summer is going to be difficult. We're going to have to. Meet. We're going to meet. Okay. We're going to we'll, we'll see what we can do. So that's an hour. That's an hour and fifteen minutes. Um, but it, and that takes us to the end. Forty-five minutes on the time. No, you don't think so? No. I think it's close. What do you think? I think, I think it's very close. In ten or really? All right, half hour. Well, over. Go I think with you. what we get done on the twenty-fourth. All right. So so I'm let's we do communication please. timeline first. Georgie, Georgie, stop. We do, um, yeah, we do, we do, we do, go, 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 Alright, so besides timeline and communication agreements, what else do we need to do? April 5th. You were going to teach us a process. process. So I'm doing. I'm, we're going to do teach you the process as part of reaching agreements oh, around the, the okay. communication. Okay. okay. Well then, okay. then let's, let's nail down the timeline. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, yeah. so we want to limit this to a half hour. Half an hour. Excuse me. What's that? Half an hour. Half hour. And if it's yes. less, that would be yes. Yes. amazing. Excuse me. Well, bless you. So that okay. I understand, in the timeline, are we going to talk about what April 5th is going to be like? Uh, we're going to talk about where we talk about what April 5th will be like. All right, okay. so let's, let's, start, um, so, let's start with March 29th. And what we say is, Wednesday work constraint, can we start at 7? That's Amy's request. Can we do 7 to 10? Is that what you're asking? Could we do 6.30? To 9.30. Amy, would that work? No. 6.30, 9.30? Everybody? Okay. 6.30. With, with an attempt to get us out by 9. Yeah. Just, and just to be clear, this has been communicated to the public. 
The day has. Yes. The day. Oh yes, the day has. Right. right so and so we're modifying the time. I just wanted to be right. We're modifying the time. So we do have. We can modify the time. We can. Well, we can. It, it will just only go out in the today is Friday. It will only go out in the online version of the news. Um, but we can. We, here's the thing. We there's no requirement that says it. We've noted put a notice of the meeting. We are having a meeting. I think we we are okay to change the time. Yeah. So you you only need to 24 hour notice to the local newspaper on your social media of when. Guys, I just want to find out. Luisa, this okay. is why this is not going to take 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so, 6.30 to 9.30. Okay, done. Or the 6.30 to 9.30. Okay, that's all okay. that. Finish. Finished. Finished. Look, what are, what are projected background for each plan? Break ground. Break ground. Break down? This break was a ground. question that I had for Mike. What are projected what? break ground for each plan? Because we talked plan. about, you know, for is for the A1, that's one of the things that I thought would, might be an interesting consideration as we down select, is that for each plan, what would be the projected put shell over there? So add in to input information. Is so there a different timeline for different different projects? Not tremendously, and Mike will not be there on that night, so he will be on So let's, let's, perhaps, let's revisit this for the De April definitely the 21st. But 21st maybe even the where are we? April 21st. April 20. Down. Just put it between the April and the April. Yeah. All right. Okay. Those answers, though, yeah. Discuss um, November 23 and May 24 ballot initiatives. Who's this? So this is a request for you. Um, and that's related to the other thing that I have up there. Right. April 13th. I'm, I'm not oh, it's April right. 13th. I'm sorry. I should have done the blue first, shouldn't I? I should go do all the blues, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back and do the Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. Keep, keep going. It's right here. Okay. April 13th. Put that on April 13th. It's on April 13th. Okay. Possibility of rearranging levy asks. Yeah, we've got three levy asks, and that's one of the reasons why I'd like to move this up to the 29th, because I thought it would be a good idea to discuss it sooner rather than later. What do you mean by three asks? Yeah. No. I don't know what they mean. I think this is what you've been wanting to talk about for a long time. This is right? what I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. Can you explain what it is? Well, let me just say is that you've seen what the village council has done is that they're kind of um, creating um, the rates. Is that that's their plan? So I have an idea about you know, there's different, the, one of the things is that with the financial is that there's different revenue sources. And so um, how and when we ask for those different revenue sources, I think it would be worthwhile to, it's eight, something that I've talked about. April 13th. Uh, it's a late. It's we late. have to ask for all of our revenue sources at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to separate that from the discussion. Of the oh, well, no. I think I think oh, you are saying. We I think that we can. I, I think that we can separate things that are um, locally funded. Um, um, that that's not exactly April, accurate. April no. thirteenth, and and send me a list of your questions. Well, mm -hmm. we'll talk about this one. Yeah. That, you know, and it's something. April April thirteenth. I would be it's discussing late. levies. It's late. It's late. Uh, okay, so. But is, is there a, a, I mean, it just sounds like maybe we, Jay, you could meet with Amy and talk this yes. through so that yes. there's clarity as to what, what right. your vision is and what is possible, right? Can yep. you guys just have a special, uh, like okay. one on one meeting about okay. it? With yes. Amy? Good. All right, let's, let's, let's keep going. Okay. okay, thank you, Lisa. I might need missing information from Mike. Now, that's one of the problems with the diamond selection. That is that it might we might be uncomfortable about making those down selections if we have questions from Mike at the time. Granted, that's a we risk for that. the 29th. We know that. We know that. I think that needs to be communicated. And we'll have that discussion. Be here. So, so I mean, we might want to put a pin in a couple of things and say so it's hard to make this distinction. I mean, so so this has to come out. Architect will not be there. Architect will not be there. Right. 
So, and, and, and we need to note that this is a problem, but nothing we can do. Yep. It's one no. of the reasons why I kind of like to move some of the discussion from the 13th, because there's a couple of things that I think it would be good to process. So, are we making any changes here other than noting that it's a problem and we're always operating under constraints? Well, let me talk with Jay okay. and we'll find out if there's, I, I like us to try something. Great, okay. okay. Wonderful, thank you. So, discuss planning for April 5th listening session. All right, 29th. So, next week, you want to have your discussion about what you're going to, how you're going to do it. We were talking about that being Plus, on the agenda. Plus, we are Perfect. Perfect. reducing from 8 to 4. Well, that's, that's what the goal says. That's already the goal. That's the goal. And you're going to talk about how you're going to share all this at your listening session or how so you're going to get about this at your listening session. I might make a suggestion. I think it's a I do think it's a heavy lift for the board to, to on next week to go from eight to four without the architect. So mm -hmm. here, here, here's an alternate, mm -hmm. perhaps, possibility. I think it's important to review the OFCC requirements so that everybody understands how they work and so that we don't okay. continue to use terms like loaded or oversized, which carries with them um, yeah. a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, well, I in, those, in those terms. <laughs> so I think that is, if that, that is certainly something that I feel comfortable doing. Jay and I can tag team that um, so we can explain some things. Hold on, hold on, Gary. So you're suggesting instead of down selecting, do this. Is that what you're proposing? I, I think we just got new numbers, and yeah. I think it's a really heavy lift without Mike there. I am not an architect. So without him there explaining things and going through the program of requirements. Let me just here reflect what I've been heard from a number of people. Of the eight, two or three are easy to remove, and that might help the community. I, 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 it is my professional opinion that that is correct, but there's nothing that says that on after April 5th, the board can't say we're, we're eliminating it too. I, I guess it could help the community, but Here's what I anticipate. We have new numbers from um, the OFCC. Without Mike there to join them to other numbers that he has been working on, then I think it would be really hard. I don't want to put the board in a difficult position without him there to ask questions of, um, unless there's a plan, and perhaps there is, that rises to the top that everybody says there's just no way. Yeah, I, I think that's 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 what I was thinking about too. If there's if there if there's an option, if there are options that everybody's kind of like going, that's an easy one. And anyway, yeah. I probably was the one that did the original. You got to reduce at this point right. because I was trying to. Right. Uh, my my sense is 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 in preparation for your listening session on the fifth. If you can down select a bit, you're going to do yourselves a big favor. <coughs> I always okay. think about these meetings in terms of goals, there's thresholds. And those objectives, right? right? And your objectives can be a little bit outside of reach, and they should be, right. they should push you a little bit. And if we don't get down from eight to four, if we get to eight to six, that's awesome. If we get from eight to eight, that's okay. It's not a failure. There right? we go. Yeah, and, that and can we be a good still system. have that's other things we're talking about. We try. Right? I think it's a good, good, it's a good plan. We could see what the hour is. Sure, sure. If it's nine o'clock, we're not certain of this session. And, and, and here's where you're going to have to do your agenda yeah. planning, and we're happy to help you. Which is, these are all on our plans. What do we do when? What's the timeline? What's the buzzer? What's the all of those things? And if we plan it well, you can do it. And if you didn't do it, you then say we tried, mm -hmm. and we're going to do it next. So it's, it's, I think it's great. We can have it on the agenda and go. Okay. You know what? It's getting late. We're going to. Okay, Terry, you had a second issue. Yeah, I did. another potential item is to certainly review the timeline. Um, a third is to talk about what April fifth will look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in light right. of our right. restrictions. So right. is it is it Mike presenting right. plans and then people just sign, come on the microphone? Mm -hmm. right. And then another would be to, and, and Jay and I talked about this, to um, address the A plans, the potential cost save, the reductions that were just discussed this past week. So I think we have a number of items that will be useful. Yeah. Um, May I make a, a suggestion on mm -hmm. that? I'm very much interested in having a cost-saving uh, discussion. I think that since it, the data is ready on that, let's just have it. George. Uh, 
for the April 5th, I would have wanted, I was hoping yeah. it would happen yeah. today, yeah. because I do believe that if we, for instance, ask the village mediation program to step in, they need a little bit more time to get ready themselves. So here's the caveat with that. Mm -hmm. If and, and it would have been the same if we had done as we had originally planned. Once they start, yeah. we have to exit. Mm -hmm. Because if they are a small grouping and in any way asking folks to rate and sort, we cannot be there. Yeah. And it cannot be a group. Mm -hmm. Is this rating and sorting? What they did? We have to do the work. No, no I understand, yeah. but this sort of work, is that mm -hmm. considered There's rating and sorting? There's no plan up there. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So, so if but they if do the, something similar to that, that's the problem? If they have people go from table to table and they say, you know, this plan, do you, right. is, is cost the best or is okay, you know, that's... You can't do that. The board can But I do that. think yeah. there's value, and, and it's nice to have a variety of meetings. I do think there's value in having folks one at a time come up and speak. I do too, and I thought I heard Judith say it yesterday in the evening she that that was a good I was her idea. talked about yeah. how we're probably not going to have to mm -hmm. run April 5th. You just and I think we could have some form of, we could have facilitators there in the room that are running a Correct. process, but that could be resources. Correct. Yeah. If things, right? Sure. sure. Okay, and, and so if we do that, which I see the value of it, can we also have a process to welcome But can we can we have some a very uh, intentional phrasings around it when we announce the uh, the meeting so that we can invite more efficiently those comments? And you know, you can have yeah. just a little bit. We can have our input yet. Yeah. We're going to ask people to put it out on social media that yeah. please send your feedback. Yeah. So you're planning April fifth right now, right? Yeah. Or you're just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but more or less. And so we move those over to April 5th and then concur. Well, well, I think it's just like part of the planning, right? So I can discuss planning. You even have those communications right. pretty yeah, you're on the wall. So people could go up and see yeah. them. Just I would like that. Well, uh, I'm thinking or you about. Or you have someone read them. Yeah, some parents that say sometimes I can't hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. You guys, I think there's going to be a lot of people that are speaking. So we do not want to read all of these comments. I respect somebody if they can't make the meeting and they. They but in a packet, to put it in in writing. That's great, but I don't know that we want to take the meeting time to read them because we may not be able to address all of the people that uh, want to speak. I agree, but if we can have it in a uh, on the we board can have, we can have it. In, we've done that in the past, yeah. so um, okay. whatever we have up to date. We can I think that thirty minutes is almost up. We've only gotten mm -hmm. two two dates. We spent uh, oh, fifteen minutes. Okay, we have fifteen more. So, so, um, what I, what are we doing? Tell us some here. So now we're down selecting to not to the we're down selecting the plans as possible to do on March 29th without the architect there. So seeing how far you get, and then reviewing the timeline is another possibility. Uh, Terry brought in discussing planning for April 5th listening session, including potentially getting in. No, that's that's for, that's for April fifth. That's, that's for that's oh okay, that's for but review of okay. OFCC requirements that should yeah. be for March twenty nine. Reviewing OFCC requirements and maybe addressing eight plans. That's yeah, if we if we fly through the first things and get there, we're like, wow, we have an hour left. Let's start talking about the plans. Right? Okay. And right. if we can get the consensus of taking them down, we will. If not, we move forward and we'll do it. Great. We'll push. Okay. Keep keep going. So April fifth, we have our listening session that'll be a little more fleshed out all together on the 29th. Yeah. So I think we're good there. Move on to April 13th. Yep, April 13th, we're do the board meeting now. I think Amy just added something better. Educational need. Yeah, I mean, when you form the triangle, I mean, so we've got ecology, green space. I mean, green space is important. The campus is really important as well as facilities. But the, um, I just feel like uh, there's, there's something about that triangle that doesn't communicate, it doesn't, the direct line, so ecology, green space, and, and affordability. Conclusion. Those, those aren't the three things that I would pick for a decision process around educational need. So, I would love that sort of input from somebody. 
and a yeah. discussion on that. Yeah. I was just going to say, I think yeah. that was our response in this retreat to this facilitated uh, previous listening session. I don't feel any need to bring what was in that past listening session to April 5th. I think we're working out a plan to have a different format. We don't need to bring the triangle or the squares Correct. or anything. That was facilitated by Village Mediation. That's my opinion. I, I, I hear you, and I think you're right. And um, both the first listening session and the data from the World Cafe, mm -hmm. I think, are usefully shared. And I'm not sure how and who and where and when. But I, I think it's all good good to have in the ether. So and I, I think you're right. April 5th is not the time to do that. But there should be some way, some system by which people can yeah. access it. By the way, one, sorry, one of the things that was given out at the listening session was, sorry, at the World Cafe, was how to access all the information you already have. So Jay, I think I was asking you that. How, how is the input from the first listening session being shared? How can this be shared? And, and I'm not sure who and when that answer is, got, is received by, but we need some systematic process for letting the community know their input's valued, it's shared, it's available. The newspaper's doing a good job. Maybe that's enough? That we share all of our information on our website and in board docs. So, so, so including, so all the, the curiosities and, and... I like I wonders, I'm just going to be honest with you, they were up. We might have taken them down while we were waiting for... Legal advice. <laughs> legal advice. Nice. But they were up. We had a whole piece, quite right. honestly. Um, but yes, we have it all. I will talk to our um, communications person on, on Monday. And this is all digitalized, so you can have this too if you want it. Um, I don't know where we put this as a conversation. Right. I'm not really pushing it, but just suggesting right. it, it ought to be considered. So, so April 13, how information is shared, communicated? What does it say it's discussed November 2023. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I want to finish with this. How, how is information shared to the community from uh, all of this work that's being done? Where does that go? We, all the so we send it out. <laughs> no, no, I'm not asking for the answer. I'm asking oh. for how, how are we going to decide that and make it available to people so that everyone knows. I think we've already just, I mean, this, these are yeah. our typical communication protocols. Okay. We, um, the newspaper is always very good, but our own system, we send to our parents through Parent Square. We put on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, website. Okay. My and I guess it's up would to be at the very beginning of April 5th, yeah. somebody like maybe TJ gives a short introduction that's just sharing mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. that contextualizes mm -hmm. the previous two listening sessions, mm -hmm. this retreat, that we received this information, that we've been discussing it, that we're in sort of deep deliberation, right. and it kind of helps that's people lovely. see, you know, that good. we're actually in a continuum of this conversation. That's yeah, great. I think that would be that's very great. helpful. Good. Okay. Like, Thank you. How is this stuff? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's keep moving. And then you could share what Terry's saying. Great. This is where you can find it. If yes. Yes. And I think we'll leave it up to the mediation how they want to show this, right? Mm -hmm. Is everything done there? We moved, we moved that one posting that, so we discussed that already. So yeah, the April 13th. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. The 21st. And the other, moved a couple yeah, of the other ones are all good? The other ones are TDDO for the 21st. Time. time. Does that mean? Do we have a problem with our timing? Yeah. No. Well, we you haven't set it. Set it. So we can do that through email. Yep. I can do you want to set it now? Um, it's a Friday one. Six to nine? I was hoping we would do it before the late in the evening. There's no school that day, but I want to point that out. For so school for no school for students. No school for students, it's a PD day. Uh, so I'm thinking about the attendance of parents, potentially. I'm thinking about also my child here. Uh, now, yeah. and, and can I make one more suggestion for this that I should have put up on the note? It's my suggestion that that data in particular is a work session where the community is not invited to, be invited to respond. To have comments. Okay. Correct. They That's are fine. absolutely, because it, otherwise we, we have to have. No, 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 I can no just that. I so then that then that simplifies that it will be live streamed, I assume? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. we'll do it like we normally do. Then, uh, but are we still open to having it not late at night? Can we do it earlier? Like, we could buy it. So five, five, yeah, what time are you closing? Five to eight? Five to eight. Perfect. Friday the 21st? I, I think I can make that work. Okay. Okay. Five to eight. Okay, okay. so that's done. And what are, what are projected background information for each plan? It, I think, um, yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's going to have to be there. That's the background, yeah. Oh, yeah. So all right, so it's going to be there. So, yeah, so ensure that there's good background for people. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing those slots. Yeah. Right. It, it would be it, nice it, to have less than eight options about right? that. Changes. No, we're good. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We got it. What does the thing say? Yeah, so what are projected brown gray dates for each panel? Okay, yeah, we can get that info. Okay. Great. All right. And this is the... What was the red? Traditional work sessions. Nice to get down, down for me. Oh, okay, guys, perfect. Um, so we have meet to meet, meet on two final plans and hear from community members. Needed, but. Oh, I have a conflict. Well, I mean, I, I, I just gonna have to. So um, I'm assuming that would be, you know, if it's in the first two weeks of May, that's those are finals for me. Well, all right, so, we'll, we'll, that's. I'm just saying, saying it's the first first the email. Okay, let's leave this one for later. <laughs> okay, I'll send that email. Yeah, I'm just letting you. Know. First two weeks of May, I'm going to be. Right. Anything else here? Right <laughs> uh, no, I think that's a email. Okay. Yeah, I definitely got to move to the It definitely can't be on the 11th. But I think lots of other people can't do. Do we have anything on the 11th? No, we've already moved our 11th board meeting to the 22nd. Um. Then July 13th, we need for members. Yeah, that's just a, a note of, of the voting requirement. Um, it's the date on the 13th that just has to be adjusted. Um, mm -hmm. May I? Sorry, can I come back to the June 8th? Yeah, we need at least four members, members being there. Correct. On June 8th, we need at least four members to be there for sure. And ideally, the whole board. Regular yeah, I mean, schools, classes are done for me then. So, yes. And I don't know of anything that would take me away. So, Judy, if you can be there. Okay. Yeah. So, then, I so far, I'm hearing that all four of us, and hopefully five of us, can be here today. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then we have the same requirement for July 13th, but I, I heard a request to change the date. Yeah, I, I will be out of town between the 10th and the 21st, unfortunately, that I can't. So and then come back back I come back on July 5th, late, late at night, so... Not the 5th. No, okay. please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so and maybe fifth. not the 6th. Um, and you're leaving the 9th, so let's... Well, the 6th would... I, I know you're just flying back. I, I can make The 6th would be just a week, a week before, the same day, with a week before our regularly scheduled for the... Or we could... The I, can make, I will make it the 6th. I cannot do the 20th. Okay, yeah. so let's, for let's do July 6th yeah. for now. Yep. At our regular time and place. And and that's easy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There is no. I think the days are. Are you going to send out an updated? Yes, yes. yes. We'll, we'll, we'll update it and, and I'll send it out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any more, any more changes or updates to this? I think that's, that's good for now. Um, I guess one thing. Let's see. So this, so this I week, you're going to decide on what's going to happen there, right? Yes. So you'll figure out who your facilitator is going to be. If it's self-facilitated, if you have mics, if you want the community mediation mm -hmm. folks to help you, you'll decide that on the 29th. This one, PJ's facilitating. We'll leave all that because that's a lot. Good. All right. Good for that. Great. Wow. I do. I do have one more question yeah. about yeah. scheduling, and I know that it has to do with the facilities. I see that those meetings goes on forever for every two weeks. How long are we going to meet? <laughs> yes. oh, we so, will be done in a day. Yeah. That's sure. what I thought. I just I, I realized that it was right. not important. Yeah, I probably just did every two weeks, yes. Okay. Just, and we don't that. resume until you have a project to okay. meet about. Uh, okay, yeah. so that was my first question. The second yeah. one is Maybe. who is in charge of the, of the agenda for the 14th? That is my first 
He's the one in charge of the agenda. He he drives that, Dorothy, because what he does is as he's giving the information and refining the plans. So when he comes to meetings, board meetings, let's say, and we say, hey, Mike, do X, Y, Z, then he does that and then becomes part of the um, agenda for the board meeting. Okay. I don't know when our next one is. Okay. All right. We'll have a position yeah. on the side. Okay. So you can open the chair and look, look through it. So we're done with the timeline discussion. <laughs> yes, we are. Okay. You need last phone, maybe. Inside half an hour. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just to say, we have we have. Uh, Do you need somebody to call you, Amy? Three minutes. Four minutes. Oh, no, I can I can ping it. No. All right. So now let's do thirty minutes for the consent process and. Um, okay. Reaching agreements on your agreements around communication, around your, your proposals around communication. Did we, um, <laughs> yes. Jane, yes. did you want to, did you want to go through the Code of Ethics? I think that some of it, I, I can say that some of these, if we read them all, some of them are, no conversation will be needed. Yeah. Um, do, do you um, want to go through those or not? Let's, let's do the communication agreements first. And then let's see what we have left over from time and, and focus. Um, okay, so so the consent process. It, Amy and Terry and Dorothy have heard a bit about it and experimented with it when we worked with YSDC nine months ago. So it's a it's a process that sits between consensus and majority. And basically, what it does is it helps to create a process that folks say. Um, our job is to get everybody feeling like they're heard and their input matters, even if we don't ultimately agree and vote together. That, and the way it works, I, I create an analytical system for it, which is we say, here's a proposal. How many of you accept the proposal without any changes with great enthusiasm? How many of you are willing to go along with it? You think it probably could be improved, but it's not worth the time, at least not now. So you'll go along with the folks who are enthusiastic. How many of you think that something has to change before you're willing to accept it? And, and here's the difference between consent and what we're going to do. When a person says no, if they're outvoted, it's yes. But here's what makes it so different. We really want to know why they say no. We really want to see if we can help make some revisions in our proposal so they'll say, at least I can support it, or I'm enthusiastic about it. That's, a, that's the one thing we want to do with the person who is in the minority. The second thing we're going to say to them is, we hear you. What you said matters. It probably represents people behind yourself. So we appreciate your disagreement. We're still going to vote for it. It's still going to go forward. This is a majority rules process. Right, if it's a consensus process, this would, this would end it. If you can't get the person to, con to change, then it's over. In this case, it's only about deliberation. And here's a, particularly when I work in the Middle East, and there they beat agreements to death. Whenever the Israelis and the Palestinians reach an agreement, they say, uh-oh, something's wrong. If they agree, we better disagree. So then, they, and then they, they mess up the agreements they've already had. This really helps. You've already agreed, now shut up. <laughs> You've already accepted it. Be quiet. The only ones we have to hear from are the people who say no. So it's actually a conflict-positive system. It's a minority-positive system, which says, Okay, you've lost this vote, but you haven't lost your voice. We're not going to go the way that you're disappointed about, but we're willing to try. And not a lot of time. We don't have much time. So we're going to try for like two minutes. For the person who disagrees, you get two minutes to try to come up with an alternative. And that's what we say to people, which is if you say no, try to come up with something that the rest of them will say yes to, so that you support it. And others, once you've heard them say no, Make a proposal that you think might enable them to change their vote. Right? Okay, so you, you get it? And, and why, in our complicated process, it could be really valuable? Yes. All right, so let's, let's try it on something that's not particularly controversial, which is your suggestions for how we um, come up with the communication agreements, at least among the set, six of you. And we'll figure out what we do with the seven going forward. All right, so Daniela has begun the group vote. Let's take one topic at a time. Yeah, so I think what's really interesting is like a lot of the ones from both the plus and the minus side are kind of revolving around this. So talk to the board president before individuals act and show we allow the superintendent and treasurer to leave. So I think this is around respect for roles. 
and, and post, post policies and processes. So we asked about this particular proposal that we're going to support. How would you frame that? So respect the role of the board president. So let's write it down. President. Well, I want to check yeah. right yeah. before we write yeah. it down. Yeah. 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 The board president, the superintendent, and the treasurer, and follow board policies accordingly. It's like something like that. I'm not sure how you want to frame that. I, I, I like the idea. I think that we can work on the phrasing so that it accurately re reflects uh, it. Well, I, I, I think you should come up with something that you can say, enough of you can say yes, exactly as it is. Here's, I want to say, here's my worry, mm -hmm. yeah, is that the person that needs to be in on this <laughs> is absent. Right. Right. And I'm afraid that if we're not giving the language right, too much the, time. the, the idea won't right. be conveyed, it will be oh. misunderstood. Oh, so we should get the language right. I, that's what I'm thinking, oh. like being okay. very clear and intentional oh. in our wordings. So we're being with each other. I, I, okay. I thought you were saying let's just not, let's just leave it general. So let's make it, let's, yeah. let's get enough of you to say, a majority of you to say, yes, this is, this is the text that we're going to accept as a communication guideline for ourselves. Yeah, and I just propose a summary, but I think it's important that then you get the, the words that you want to be. Yeah, so write it down as you suggested it, and then you can make friendly amendments okay. before we take our poll. So, I was saying respect. Yes. 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 Oh, that's in the, that's in the I, would, I would want to say like enforce the rules. <laughs> well, you can make friendly amendments on it. We're putting it up as a draft and then you'll say it as you want it. And then once I have a sense we might have a straw poll, we'll take it and we may rise again. And, then and, and I also said and follow the board policies, but I'm kind of wondering if they're I think that's separate. A separate right. well, that's, that's kind of different. Well, let's just start with this one. Let's start with one. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's, let's start with that one. So, so, how would you reword it? Any friendly amendments to this? Any rewording? Follow the chain of command and keep the treasurer and superintendent out front leading for this one. Okay, so the. Friendly amendments. So, follow the chain of command, right? Suggest what he. And let the say again. Please. And let the or keep the superintendent treasurer leading, or let the superintendent and treasurer lead the district. And I can tell you right here and now. Yeah, but the question of naming as what we could use the language that would help. Yeah. Well, I mean, the um, the board has a responsibility. But the board's responsibility is not to lead the district. There are yeah. clearly defined roles. Oh, Which is why this first one might be yeah. easier. Okay. Right? If we're concerned about, about this being accepted, maybe the first one is a little closer. Just keep the blue, you mean? Yeah. Well, of course, but if you look at the chain of command, it's the, super, the, the board is, you know, how would you change this if you change either of them? Well, you know, it's the, it's the board's responsibility to maybe supervise the superintendent. Would it be maybe helpful to have this first one and then to have like a, def a defined, so board president, colon, X, this is their role, superintendent, like to have it's this clearly policies. defined and I mean, maybe to bring the policy <laughs> in here to like have a clear when we say this, this was, what do we mean? Yeah, right? this is, you know, so the protocol kind of um, was introduced some language like this. So I think that um, this is something that we definitely want to include the all five members in. And there's a way of, uh, uh, and there's, there were suggestions about protocols to maybe use instead. Um, and so uh, this is a conversation that was begun back December, January. Um, uh, okay, can we get yeah. some language? Yeah, let's try some language and see if we can get an agreement. So here's language six, six, for chain seven, of command. Six, six. Um, um, follow the chain of command. And then this is, I'm just going to read and you can do The last stop, not the first, will be the board. We agree to follow the chain of command and insist that others do so. While the board is eager to listen to constituents and staff, each inquiry is to be referred to the person 
who can properly and expeditious, expeditiously address the issue. All personnel complaints and criticisms received by the board. Oh, we don't need to put all that up there. So, no, right, but so the last piece says, we will resist to solve problems for the constituent. It is not the board member's job to fix problems that belongs to the superintendent. No. I guess that's what I'm saying, and TJ was saying, when it isn't the board's job to do our jobs. Here. It isn't I'm your not job to I'm do not our disagreeing jobs. disagreeing with you. I'm just saying is that there was particular language about the protocols that were drafted, you know, 10 years even before we became on the board, and there were some divergences that Judith had specifically. And I'm just saying is would that, that be avoid my Judith has an opinion here, mm -hmm. and I would prefer to table this specific language. But see, I disagree respectfully. Well, we all cleared our calendar for this, as right. Louisa was saying. We cleared our calendar for this at great expense to some of us. Mm -hmm. We are here. She shows not to. Part of that, the ethics is make every attempt to attend board meetings. We all weighed in on these days and these times and made a commitment. And if we can't commit to those things, then we surely cannot commit to larger, more important things. Well, but this isn't, I, I would argue that this, when we're talking about communication, is that this, it, we've had a broader issue besides, um, you know, chain of command and specific policy protocol. So we'll deal with those when we get to them. This is what we're dealing with now, and let's see if we can reach some agreement about the language and your commitment to it. So what we have so far is um, well, we have follow the, the chain of command, and then the, and the last stop, stop will be the board. We will resist solving problems that it is not our job to solve. Okay. So, what do you mean by Lisa? the last stop will be the board? Lisa? The last stop I would be willing, I think, if we understood and were committed to respecting the roles of the board president, superintendent, and treasurer, and let the superintendent and treasurer lead the district, mm -hmm. that to me. Um, includes what is also stated in more detail. So I, if I were to give a friendly amendment, I would be willing to take off, follow the chain of command, and the last stop would be the board, because those other two things, in my mind, are the more important, all-encompassing pieces. And I, but I, I would keep that will resist solving problems that is not our jobs to solve. Um, so if we take out, yeah, follow the chain of command. All right. So, so your proposed language, and we're going to take a we're going to take a straw poll on it, is respect the roles of the board president, superintendent, and treasurer, and let the superintendent and treasurer lead the district. Correct? Okay. How many of you support that exactly as it is with enthusiasm? So one, two, three, four, five. And how many of you can live with it? Five to one. Perfect. I'm kind of a little bit here. Great. Great. So, so this one this one passes five to one to zero. Great. Let's keep going. Okay. okay. All right. Next one. So okay. So so that was it. so we're talking about policy. So the next one was around policy. So follow. Uh, so follow board protocols. Follow our process. Go through the board president, superintendent, and the timing. I think that's also hold thing. on. Still, it, oh sorry. What's so that? That's the same one as before. I was going to say, should we address this? We will resist solving problems that is not our job to solve. Is that related? Sure. It's spelled out in the protocols. So, right, so this uh, statement is. But maybe both, the statement both alone are, are, Oh, so maybe then the statement yeah. alone is better to have, right? All right, so, okay. so we will. Okay. Yeah. Yes, no, not doing this one? Well, I think there's, there may be some disagreement about what our job is. So, um, there shouldn't be. It's pretty clearly spelled out, both by well, policy and law, right? But that's why I think this one could be helpful. We will resist solving problems that it's not our job to solve, or at the very least, would reach out to people to see whose job it is to solve that problem. Yeah. Right? So we would communicate about the problem that we are hearing yeah. in our communities with the folks that could potentially help us address that problem. Communicate about problems that we are aware of. We are hearing. We are hearing. We are hearing. From community. Okay, keep going, Lisa. I have to read what's under that then. So communicate about problems we are hearing from community 
And we will resist solving these problems. And reach out. And reach out. Good. To district leaders about who would be the appropriate people to help the problem solve. Leaders to figure out <laughs> who, <laughs> who, who are the appropriate people to help the problem solve. And there's only any of this. All right. All right. So, so here's the proposal. We're gonna we're gonna vote on this. And again, the idea is enthusiasm. You heard that first. Let me read it first. Let me read it. Let me read it out. So then, then the first round is enthusiasm. Second round is connivited. And the third round is I need to make an amendment. Whatever you want to say. Okay. The last stop. Well, I don't I don't know what that first statement is. Let me read it. Let me read it. Let me read it. That Not the last stop. It's yeah. That one is crossed out. The last stop is crossed out. It's communicate about problems we are hearing from the community and reach out to district leaders to figure out who are appropriate people to problem solve. Okay? Enthusiastic support? Great. Six, six, oh, six, oh, oh. Okay, next. Okay, so the next one is around, uh, I think, forms of communication. We need that. So we had like a suggestion how, about how you use BCC and CC properly and also to call. So to me this speaks to like the intentional and the, the means of communication you choose and how you use that means of communication. Is I guess how it's set up. I, mean, I, I think that we've all had instances where we were left out of communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So maybe also who who is being communicated with. Who's yeah. included in communication? Right. What form you're using? We have to be very careful though with the Open Meetings Act, right? Yeah. So if I have two board members in a meeting and we've discussed things, I cannot then go take that discussion or those findings or the things that happened and email Amy. And that's that's just a law. So right. I can't do that, which adds mm. to this fog of communication, right? right. It's, Right, that's that's where, like, there's no deliberation there's behind the, the, the public meeting. You're talking about a round robin meeting, is what it's called. That's, that's, that's where it's, it's You can yeah, do information sharing. So if somebody. Sure. Yes, yeah, so suggestion. I think this is why it's important to keep our superintendent and treasurer in those communications so that they can be the central so point. So that's what we said, right? So when we communicate, yes. that we keep our superintendent and treasurer in it because they are a central point of collecting all of those. Is that different from what we said here? Is that a new one? It is different. Yeah. There's sort of like the central okay. dissemination of information right. to the So board. dissemination, so so someone give me a language. Uh, communication so must flow through the superintendent and treasurer to prevent misunderstanding between and among us and our Super treasurer and board, is that what you said? Yes. Super. And so it must flow through the superintendent and treasurer. And treasurer. Okay. To, to prevent. To, I was going to say to keep things consistent. But, yeah. Miscommunication. Miscommunication. Both. Let's do both. Among board members and the broader community. Well, they, all of us. To prevent miscommunication. I think you said prevent miscommunication. Period. Period. Miscommunication. Okay. Perfect. Communication must go through the superintendent and treasurer to prevent miscommunication. You want to and in, should we say something about inclusion or is that good? Is that enough? I, I think that is enough. Uh, what, are, what were you going to say about inclusion? The fact that. Well, I mean, because this doesn't address. It. In itself important communication. So, I mean, the. Uh, is. How about this? To prevent miscommunication and include constituents properly. Because we are, or to include. Um, I think could see something that the yeah. superintendent or treasurer will send out timely communication mode to the board or something like that. Oh, that's, right? that could be it. Communication must flow through the superintendent to prevent miscommunication, and they will provide timely communication. I think, to and the they will. To, to enable. And they will, right? Mm -hmm. And they will. They will yeah. Say again? And they will provide t timely 
feedback or communication to the board? Communication to the board, right? That's what you want, Amy. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, I just, I just think, is that, you know... To prevent miscommunication. Yes. Right? I mean, it's clear that the, the overall we need to work on our discipline in including relevant members. Right. Uh, you know, every attempt will be made to, uh, to communicate with We'll make all, all attempts, will will effectively provide timely information. Um, and, but I think that's a responsibility of everybody. Yes, to the full board. Yes, full board. We'll effectively provide, okay, effectively, that's what you're asking for. Right? Um, so, this is, but I think communication in this context is big. I thought that's what we were talking about. Communication must flow through superintendent and treasurer. Um, well, I mean, and they will, and they will effectively like provide like, wait, well, what, what, timely communication in order exactly to prevent this. <laughs> it's everything by the law. Like I can't call you, then Judith, then Dorothy, then Louisa, because then now we're running right. Robert, and, and, well, no, and no, you're I outside understand. the public. I have a clarification right. question. Yeah. Uh, for instance, all the communications that I do on the side for the active transportation mm -hmm. group, mm -hmm. I'm the only board member that's yep. on there. I can start adding you administrators on it. You're going to be well, so you, here's, I, I, think, I think we're doing two things. I think that, I think active transportation, village liaison, YSDC, the appropriate communication between board members and superintendent and treasurer with that is your report each month at the board meeting because there's a place there. What I used to do for the old board, and I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I have not done it for this board for lots of reasons, is I would provide a weekly or bi-weekly written update. Mm. Here is all of the things mm. going on. It's, it's, it's informational only, not uh, where I'm asking you questions, just informational only. Um, I can make sure I do that. I think the, the issue at hand is facilities. I will do that. And, and Amy, when you say relevant board members, all board members are relevant. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I, yes, I just say the entire No, board I didn't say relevant. Board, well, I mean, well, there's relevant the board members. Okay, okay. Let's, let's try this now. So let's try it. Let's hear what you think. And, and Please vote no, so then you can fix it. You don't need to do the whole group to fix it. One person can say, here's how you change the word. So community must, communication must flow through superintendent and treasurer, and they will effectively provide timely communication to full board to prevent miscommunication, e.g. weekly update by superintendent. Support, enthusiastically. One, two, three, four. Can live with it. One down, one two. Great, thank you. So good. All right, DJ, what's your what's your suggestion to change? Uh, it needs to be superintendent and or treasurer. Okay, beautiful. Is that what you wanted? Okay, that's great. It does. I don't want it to be. It has to be both of them every single time. It's which whatever's relevant. Okay, perfect. That's I exactly. Was, how I thought it'd be the only down most. We helped them through the process. That's how the system works. So because <laughs> talking and talking and talking, change a specific. Amendment that will help you move to here. You have a minute. Okay, so the the, the first part, I, I suggest rewriting just the, you know that first four words. Okay. Um, to, and, and, and Trent, I, what's the suggestion? Make well, it. I mean, it's it's uh, there's communication problems um, again, like through. Um, You know, and this idea of just give us the word. Thing. Give us the yeah, How are you going to change it? must flow. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying is that that, that should be reworked because you be working. Tell us what to do. So that would make you happy and say, I can live with it. Or I, I feel like, uh, you know, so, so for example, you do weekly update by mm -hmm. um, superintendent. Yeah. Is that what communications? What, what's an example of communications that must flow through the superintendent? Weekly updates. Reaching out to people to schedule meetings on behalf of facilities without uh, properly communicating. That's an example. Reaching out to schedule so meetings. meetings. So committee meetings. Instead, like meetings. instead of flowing that through the superintendent and treasurer, reaching out to individuals on your own. Don't do that. Right. And we're saying, well, this is what we're trying to prevent this to happen. Scheduling, 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 scheduling meetings. This is an example of like what, why this is so important. Oh, yes. So that's an example of the communication. Directly, call, directly calling vendors. We're saying instead of having 
anybody do that willy-nilly, that communication has to flow through the superintendent and treasurer. Funnel all questions and requests so to the treasurers. And do, do you want to load it up with calling vendors? That, that uh, no, let me do. I'm just trying to give examples for Amy. Uh, yeah, she asked for examples. Right. I think right. it was fine as we're. Give it as it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay. Amy, enough. You want to try to take. Well, let's take a revote. I think TJ is going to change. How many of you supported it enthusiastically? Well, so, again, say no, but then give us a very specific change. That's This is this is a fast process. So, you're going to vote now, or are you going to support it? Tell us what, where you're, where's your vote. Vote now. Okay, I'm, so yeah, vote, I'm, happy vote, to, vote I'm happy to be a no on it. You don't want to try to change it. Well, I mean, it's... It's okay to be no. You're right. It, so what? It's, it, it's, it's a bit vague. So um, there's nothing that you can suggest that would make it palatable. Okay, can, I, can I make a suggestion? Because sure. I heard Dorothy say uh, requests and questions. So I'm wondering, Amy, if requests and questions instead of communication would mm. be more specific for you. The, the language that I had is funnel, funnel, funnel. all requests Press and questions, and questions. Yeah. through the superintendents. Let's see if this helps. So that, that's more specific. All requests. And what, Dorothy? And questions. And questions. Through and then you can tag it. Right. So instead of communication must flow, funnel all requests and communications through superintendent and or treasurer. And they will effectively provide timely communication to full board to prevent miscommunication. We don't need to have EG. Can we lose all? No. No, I don't think so. I think that's part of, part of the idea here. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's, there's a point. I mean, there's a judgment call. Mm. And there's some of our communication. That's the problem. That's right, when yeah. the miscommunication yeah. has happened. Yeah. Well, that's and, that's why, and that's what I'm suggesting is that, you know, there needs to be, you know, I understand. And, you know, I understand that there's, like I said before, there's undercurrents about, you know, things that have, happen in the board. Mm -hmm. I'd like to understand more about what those problems would be so that I understand more about what we're what we're trying to All right. I think we need to call a question. Here. So let's so let's call a question one last time and you're welcome to stay down or move over. So let's how many of you support this as it is? Um, I'm gonna read it again. Sorry. Funnel all requests and questions through the superintendent or treasurer and or treasurer to provide Sorry, treasurer, and they will effectively provide timely communication to full board to prevent miscommunication. Support it enthusiastically. TJ, are you with us? No. Yeah. Amy, sideways down. I'd yeah. be okay. happy if you take out all. Let's try it. I think you're not going to get it, but let's try. So now we're trying this final request and questions without the all. You'll have your other board member with you if you if you accept that, but if you don't, then we probably will move on. How many of you can accept funnel requests and questions um, through superintendent and or treasurer to prevent miscommunication? Because I think that qualifies. Oh, sorry. And they will effectively provide timely communication to full board to prevent miscommunication. Well, yeah. Question? Wait a minute. Question for? But you just said, Amy, that this qualifies it, but. That's a good answer. Is that a loophole? What I, what I heard you saying is that you're not comfortable with it because you feel like it is saying that all it is you would like to have a possibility that it's not every communication. That's why I, that's why I understood why you blocked it. The um well, the, the intention is to prevent miscommunications, right? Right. So what we're doing is to funnel requests and questions through the superintendent or the treasurer. Um. So but and or the treasurer. Um, so, but it's, it's, again, there's a few judgment calls here in terms of who's the appropriate person to contact at the moment. So, you know, it's, that's, I, I think that the intention is to prevent these communications and that will cover Whether it's what all we're trying all. to, what we're trying to regulate. Great, good, Thank We you. don't need to say all, we, because we're, we're adults. <laughs> But what we're trying to do is prevent miscommunication, and that's why we're asking. Dorothy has a question. For you. I have a question. What is the downside to send all requests and questions to the superintendent and treasurer? Again, we said I am not familiar with. Uh, uh, I'm not. 
familiar with the specific instances that you are trying to regulate. And so it's, uh, so but, and I understand your need for preventing communication. And I feel like this is something. Mis you know, we're, we're, not mis yeah, yeah, we're not miscommunication. We're, we're not trying to prevent no, communication, we're trying to prevent the miscommunication. That's why I yeah, said. Yeah, she, she missed both. Yeah, yeah, she did. Nice. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I, I mean, the, the intent is not to make sure that every single time that we ask a question in the school that it goes through the right. superintendent or the treasurer. Right. The intent is, if is to prevent mis miscommunications yeah. Yeah. and to inform. That's right. right. I think you're completely right. And and now the question for the rest of them is to, to figure out whether all is really essential to them. Or your yes vote is is more essential to them. That's the, that's the question for you to consider. Terry, you have a question or comment? I, I just have a comment, and, and I think all is important because mm -hmm. I will give you two specific instances which we've already talked about. Mm -hmm. One is a board member reaching out to an architect and an engineer to set up a meeting before ever contacting Jay or myself or the board president. Another issue is a board member contacting a vendor or directing someone else who is not a school employee to contact a vendor, and the vendor calls me and says, what in the world yeah. do you want? Okay, those are two specific agents. instances to, in answer to your question. It's not, it, it, it's we are trying to streamline communication so that we can prevent miscommunication. Mm -hmm. okay, can, I, can I just also maybe just make a link here? Is like, I think Amy, you're saying, you know, we're gonna, we're adults, we can kind of decide that for ourselves. But I think the idea here is that through the process of filtering it through the superintendent and the treasurer, that decision will become clear. So you don't have to do the pre-work of that. What you need to do is send it to the people who can advise on that decision. That's what I'm hearing. Is that my understanding of correct? And, and I'm also, to Jay, yeah. I, I was gonna say, and that's why TJ's amendment, the and or, is, is you know, you said, well, I don't, I heard you say, I don't know, sometimes but that's too. That's one of the reasons why I say don't say all. Well, it, so when you say, I'm not sure who, then and. If, it, if you don't know, should I ask Terry or should I ask Jay? Ask them both. Ask Terry and Jay. Mm -hmm. That's, isn't that, isn't that a simple? But thing? that's different from the all. The all. Yes. Yeah, all is, is about yes. something. All is else. that yeah. if you have a, a question or a request, then you should send it to the so What about if I'm working on a committee? And I have a question for my fellow committee member. Do I still have to send it to you too? Um, committees yeah, are... There's no downside to doing it except... Well, I mean, it depends. Are you in the committee meeting and you're having the conversation right then? You're not going to no, stop. No, and, no. But if it's outside of that committee... They should be copied or they yes, should be included in that because that's how the... Otherwise, the miscommunication could... Okay. All right, I think we have enough conversation, so let's take our revote. Right? And, and you, hear the, you hear the concern that it's vague, and, and that's been expressed. And well, so if you... Yeah. And, I, you know, again, is that this is a concern, and I feel like if we, you know, if we... The, I think we understand what the intention is, especially the folks in this room, mm -hmm. and um, I think Judith would also. Um, but I, I'd also caution about putting everything in there, because I mean, we have to be respectful of these people's times also. And again, is that they're asking you to tell them everything. Don't, don't be over respectful of their time. Well, you know, but you know, we've already, you know, there, there's, it, and there's, there's summaries that we, um, that we put out, right? Okay, I but think we've, we've heard, we've heard you. So let's take our vote, and if it's still down, that's fine, completely down, fine. And well, where are you. we at? So now we're taking the vote to see this language, which has now been amended. Funnel all requests and questions through a superintendent and or treasurer, and they will effectively provide timely communication with full board, period. Enthusiastically support? With all. With all. With all. With all. Okay, and support and live with it? Done. Yeah, okay, put your phone down. Okay, that's fine, not a problem. That's fine. And your, and your concerns about it being too vague have been heard, and um, so it's five, zero, one. Still passes. 
Okay, guys, it's now um, 4.45. I think we're done. I think we need to do a checkup. So we have oh. three sets of, of agreements, and we have lots of others that still have to be worked through. Um, TJ and I will work out right into how that might happen. Sure. Um, all of this data will be organized and shared with you. And um, so, and we'll include we'll include the uh, um, ethics and maybe the protocol in the. Email the protocol. Right. We'll in the packet. So let's so let's stand up now and and uh, reflect a bit. Taking away, but maybe, maybe so. Maybe, maybe what? Um, I don't know. Let me formulate this. What do we want to check out? Well, I guess I'm curious to know, like, where is this landing for people when you look at having come to uh, consensus in these agreements? Like, how does that feel having done consent, that? Not consensus. Cons consent. Sorry, consent right. before. Uh, consensus on two and consent on one third. You know, how does that feel? Like, how is that landing? compared to not having any of that when you walked in. Because I was hearing from people that that was important. So I guess I'm curious, like, how is that landing to have at least a couple of those have been discussed and reached either consensus or consent? Um, There's frustration with what happened in the last two weeks, right? And that's really, I feel like, especially the last couple of things we did, is really colored by that. And you know, we're working through a process that's been going on for six years, and there's and there's structural, there's systemic, or not even structural or systemic. There's pervasive communication issues that we've had for a long time, and you know, they need to be addressed if we're going to be successful. I mean, I guess my question for you is, do you feel like these agreements could help in any way address that, that we've come to? Because, I mean, that was the purpose of the No, well, so it's actually, I see this more as more than finger pointing. Well, we my just question had a is, why do you just look at Terry in the way that you just did? That because I really want you to be successful. That was really intense. This is about here. being, when you, you being successful. When you it's say not. we have pervasive communication problems, and look at me, you know, no, it's not. I years. feel this. I live this job like all okay, of you. Okay, but what I want you to hear is, please let me finish, Board Member Magnus. I, I respectfully ask you to let me finish. I try not to take this job personally. Mm -hmm. But like all of you, you know, this is personal for us. Not only am I superintendent, I live in this community. I've given up my old community to live here, and I'm trying to love it, and, and it's a process. It's different, but I am giving all I've got to this community and this job. So when you say things like that, yeah. you, you throw these bombs and look at people and then smile and walk out the door, have a good weekend. That is highly problematic. Why? Because I want, I'm here because there are, you, you've tried this, I think mean the school's tried this twice, right? And I'm here to help. And I want you to hear how I want to help. And I don't feel I would would like to be hurt. And instead, I feel discomfort. You know, I sense your discomfort with somebody I've known for years. I sense your discomfort. Right? You should be able to be more comfortable with me. You should be able to get to a point of trust. Right? I think we're well, that's a long way from that. Well, then there 
there's work that has to be done. And finger pointing, which is what we just did, is not going to be asking, asking everyone to follow the same procedures, I, I don't see how that's finger pointing for Well, you just expressed a lot of anger towards a full board member who's not. There's some frustration there, and I, I think we don't need to bring her into this room right now. Let's let's deal with who's here right now. And mm -hmm. and and you know, there's there's ups and downs, ups and downs of this two days. A little bit like what happened last week, which is should we cancel? No, we shouldn't cancel. We have to keep going, and that's basically going to be what happens going forward. Everything is going to be mm, partly okay and partly not okay, and we're going to have to live with that and maybe move the arrow a little bit more towards the okay. We now have three agreements, two of which were complete consensus, and the third in which you registered your complaints and they were heard, and just a few differences about, about it, which is this full makes you uncomfortable. I hope that was heard, and I hope there's a way to address it, even while you have an agreement that you're moving forward with. So, you know, I don't think you ever are gonna have, you're not, you don't have to, you guys do not have to reach consensus. But you do have to reach a sense that we are in this together, where we disagree with each other, and where we agree with each other. We are having to move forward and show this community that we can agree disagreeably, we can disagree agreeably, and we can agree and we can agree. Those are the two things that's really essential for everybody to see. So I think you're doing it. I think you've done it. Who is it? or professionally or in any capacity about the past six years of the difficulty of this process for our community and I heard the way that your eyes pointed to Terry I hear blame in that no there's not blame okay well I want to just be clear that what we as a community and as a district asked a new superintendent to step into is a very difficult place and I just want us to make sure that we are listening to each other and not blaming each other for the past. And listen to each other and not blame each other for the past. And I would like us to be able to be less defensive. And I also heard you say you'd like you'd like to be recognized for all the work you're doing. And I certainly do. Oh, you know, there's the, I think it's important to create space for people. And you know, I love the work that you've been doing on the board. So, but I also feel like there's times that, you know, when you're not talking about, if there's times that this has devolved into personal attacks, and we need to resist that. That's when we're not at our best. So I think that when we experience or see a personal attack, we need to practice calling each other in. What I just experienced, that communication that you gave, it felt personal. Well, but it and was. so I just want to say, I'm trying to call you in and say, do you see that Terry is feeling that as a personal thing? And just calling us in to say, let's, we all get heated, we all have feelings, let's yeah. just take a, a deep breath and say, okay, that's not our intention, is not to blame. Any person here, let's take a step back from that. Well, and the hope is is that we're all working towards what we hope is a success. Right? right? Yeah. Okay, let's let other people talk. Any other reflections, comments, check out? And something we can all agree is a success. Can I just make a comment as well? Like, I think it's, um, it's really important. And, uh, yeah, I think it's really important for people to be able to share the impact that things have on them about that being perceived as, as blame. So I can share how something has yeah. impacted me and I can put that into the circle yeah. and that doesn't mean I'm blaming anybody, it means that I'm sharing how something's impacted me and I think that, you know, we heard some of that during those two days, how, how people are being impacted, how they're feeling and that affects their ability to successfully move forward. So I think being able to voice that is important and being able to step back and, and recognize that it's not, it's not blaming somebody else but it's saying I have this experience and that's and that's valid, right? Like I think that that's important to be able to put it into the circle. I appreciate you saying that. Good. Is that other people talk? I'm happy that we can dig into a timeline and process. I I want more out of the communication agreements because it's been broken trust here and there's just so much we so
so far we can't go today with this for the reasons that we know. But I'm thankful that we have a timeline and a process that we all here have a good And yeah, I would say to get comfort, we need trust. We can tell a really good story, but we have to come, we have to get to a point where we're actually sharing the information with each other and agree. There's problems with that. We have to tell that story and it needs to be grounded in educational value. Great, thank you. Okay, any other, anyone else? If not, we have about 10 more minutes and I'm now going to have us all do a synchronous walk. So get your clothes on. Oh, and, um, do you, you want to adjourn first? Um, I want to adjourn before I synchronous walk. Yes. That sounds great. I'm going to take five minutes. Maybe I'm going to